Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a middle-aged female who had pain in their left gluteal region, and the left gluteal region looked pretty doggone good. All the muscles looked fine, the left hip joint looked good, but on the opposite side, of course I hate it when this happens, uh, we see something on the, the wrong side, but here in the right groin, there's a little septated fluid collection. We can see the artery and vein here, femoral artery and vein right over here, you can see the artery, out lateral, vein medial, and you can see this fluid collection looks like it pushes the vein anteriorly. It does touch the artery, but really here it looks like it flattens the vein, and on this one view right there, it looks like it almost comes out of the back of the vein. Right there, now if we put up another view, the stirrer image, we see the same thing. You can see the internal septations. You see the association with that vein there. On the T1 weighted sequence, we see that it is low in signal, not as low as fluid in the bladder, but low. So it looks compatible or consistent with a complex cystic structure. And here on the sagittal T2 sequence, we see it along the anterior margin of the acetabulum here. You can see it's a teardrop shape, multiple little internal septations. Following down here, we can see the iliopsoas muscle. The bursa is over in this region, so it may contact the medial margin of that bursa. So the question is, what is this thing? There's the opposite of the side of the symptoms. And so I found a, an article, a couple articles that describe similar size cystic lesions in this region um, on a patient who had one on the right, another patient had one on the left, and the pathology on one was a ganglion cyst communicating with the right hip joint. I don't see a communication here. The other one was a cystic adventitial disease. One was with the artery, another was a vein. So the femoral vein apparently also can have cystic adventitial disease. The cystic adventitial disease is more common with the arterial system, but I guess rarely it can involve veins. And this one has such a, um, uh, a close approximation with that vein. On these couple images here, again, here's the artery. There's that vein that's flattened. Really, it's kind of broadened right there. And then it comes back to a more normal morphology. So, and this may be cystic adventitial disease of the femoral vein, possibly, or it could come off the artery, but the association is not uh, very obvious there. So if it were that, it would be coming off the vein. And then the other thing is, I guess it still could be some complex ganglion cyst arises from the bursa. And in the end, if they're symptomatic, they can go in there and take that out and figure out what it is. But thank you very much.